place sensors on your subject's quadriceps. In this instance, we will compare the vastus medialis and vastus lateralis of both quadriceps. Follow our recommended muscle placement sites. The quadriceps muscles you test are entirely up to you, the clinician. Take a picture of sensor placement for reference when referring back to data analysis. Show your subject how to perform a maximal voluntary contraction of the quadriceps by way of seated leg extension using Mr. EMG Biofeedback. Now record your subject performing three maximal voluntary contractions of their quadriceps muscles. Ensure you take a picture of each activity so you have an image to match your data. Now record the quadriceps muscle activity of your subject's natural walking gait. Compare the muscle activity during walking gait to their maximal voluntary contractions, looking for any muscle activity abnormalities related to their complaint, such as a reduction of muscle function. Now assess quadriceps muscle activity performing exercises. We will start here with body weight squats. Observe the visual EMG biofeedback, looking for apparent discrepancies between muscles. Now we will observe muscle outputs performing a single leg extension with a towel under the knee. As surface EMG is a measure of effort, allow your subject to view the biofeedback during this activity to ensure they are trying with a consistent attempt each time. Once again, you are looking for any visible differences between muscle groups left to right. Before moving on, compare the results of the quadriceps muscle outputs between legs with your subject. Following observations made, test quadriceps output performing dynamic tasks, such as using cardio equipment to see if your findings from one leg extension match active activities. Here we will show the quadriceps muscle outputs using a concept bike erg, followed by a treadmill jog, finishing with weighted leg extensions. The exercises you test are entirely up to you, the clinician, and what you would deem most appropriate for each subject based on their symptoms. To conclude this assessment, we recommend you sit down with your subject and analyse their data, identifying any muscle inactivity during movements you feel is related to their symptoms. We hope you enjoy using Mr EMG.